adjustments can improve most images. And even if you don't know exactly what they do, you can use something simple like the Smart Fix to apply several corrections automatically. Now, the many adjustments here have all got similar controls. They'll have one or more sliders at the top in one or more areas and boxes underneath, which will preview that slider at various different levels. Some of them also have buttons underneath too. Now, if you just want a quick result, Smart Fix is where you want to begin. I can go all the way to 100 with this box all the way back there. I can split the difference at 50% in the middle and compare it with zero. Now, I don't have to use the box. I can just drag the slider and wait for it to update. So what is Smart Fix actually doing? Well, it's going to do different things on every image. It will correct shadows and highlights and saturation and overall colors. And I can go before and then after to see what difference it's going to make this time. If I want to actively compare what my adjustments are doing, I can use this view drop down to see a before and after split view. So there's the before and there's the after. Now, in this case, I don't think Smart Fix is really fixing my image, so I'm going to keep looking. Exposure lets you adjust brightness. Now, this is quite a simple control. You can make something brighter or make something darker, but the issue is that you will often destroy part of your image when you make things brighter or darker in this way. You can see here that the highlights are being blown out while the shadows are still lost. So I'm going to return this one to zero and keep looking. Lighting can really help because it gives you separate controls over shadows, midtones, and highlights. So the highlights are the bright parts of the image, the shadows are the dark parts of the image, and the midtones are the middle of the image. And I think for this, I'd like to brighten up the shadows a bit. So I go to the shadows and I just move the slider up. Now, if you go too far with this, it looks a bit unnatural, so just be careful. And this goes for any adjustment, really. Might also push the midtones just up a little bit, but I could push them down the other way as well. And this is adjusting the contrast of the image. Sometimes you want things to look more contrasty. Sometimes you want them to look less contrasty. But usually increasing it a little is not a bad idea. Now, you don't have to play with these three sliders. You've got these controls down the bottom as well, auto levels and auto contrast. And they mostly will do similar things, except auto levels will sometimes change color as well. So I'll give that a shot. That looks OK. Now, if I'm not happy with it, I can undo. It's Command Z or Control Z on a PC to undo whatever I just did. And it is multi-step. So you can keep undoing all those things you've done if you want to. You can redo as well. Just the redo shortcut is Command Y or Control Y on PC. So with the color controls, I've got control over saturation, which is how vivid the colors are. I'll undo that one. Vibrance, which is similar, but tends not to go quite so crazy. So if you want to make the colors more vivid without the risk of uh, totally destroying your image, go for vibrance rather than saturation. And hue can change the color of the image, and it can work quite quickly too. Uh, this is an occasion where hovering over the boxes will get you to some interesting special effects very quickly. At the moment, though, I'll leave that at nothing. Color balance is related. You can tint towards blue or red with temperature. You can tint towards green or purple with tint. And finally, if you need to, you can sharpen the image, which can compensate for an image that's too blurry, but will look pretty nasty if it was already sharp. So you don't always have to sharpen. There are more advanced adjustments available, and we'll look at them in the Expert Mode section of the course. For now, though, just experiment with each of these adjustments, try some of them out, and just remember that full strength is not probably going to be your best friend. In the next video, I'll show you how to select parts of the image.